Yo guys, it's Main Nonsense Five here, and today I'm going to do another tutorial. Now, a lot of people have been asking me how to install 4493 DSM 5.0 uh, straight from scratch without having any previous install. So I've just made this text tutorial, as can be seen here, and now I'm going to put the video tutorial to go with it. So basically, uh, this guy has um, an ex e e s x i uh, method and a non ESXI method. This video is going to cover the ESXI method because it's really pointless to cover the non ESXI method. You know, it's really difficult to say ESXI um, because basically you'd load up Win32 Disk Imager, put the image file in, select your drive, and press right. So it's like it's too simple. And then it's the same for both methods regardless. So basically, to start with, we're going to need to download a few files. I'm going to need to download this file here called nbx64 5032 dsm 504493 xpinology underscore nl dot uh, we download it like that download it, but I've already got it so it's pointless and we're going to need to get the official pat file which I've also already got both links are in the description to the, well, the link to the text tutorial is in the description and inside the link to the text tutorial is the links to the downloads ok so basically now what we want to do is load up vSphere I really hate that word too, I'm so good at English like, totally ok so here we are in vSphere <laughs> I'm going to call that ESXi client from now on because I can't say sphere properly um, and then we need to create a new virtual machine so we'll just right click our server new virtual machine we'll go to custom uh, name it whatever you want I'm gonna call it uh, tutorial video uh, select your data store select virtual machine version 8 uh, it might be different if you're running a newer version of ESXi I'm not sure but just select the latest one uh, you bunch your Linux 64 bit uh, depending on how many sockets and cores you have, obviously select what you want. Uh, for this I'm just going to use one, I do actually have more than that, but yeah it's fine. It, d it doesn't need much more, it, d it depends what you're going to do with it really. Uh, I would use a gig, but most of my VMs are already using it and I don't have that much memory in this. So I'm just going to put it to 256, I'd probably leave it at a gig. Uh, leave that as default. Select VMware Power Virtual. Um, now, since this is going to be a guide from scratch, we'll just create a new virtual disk. I'm not going to cover RDM or anything in this guide. If you want to know about RDM, either look up my other tutorial videos, or just Google RDM ESXi. It's uh, raw disk mapping, which basically means that it will essentially have the disk like, connected physically to the, the guest operating system, so in this case Synology DSM. Uh, so we create a new virtual disk. Uh, leave it at 16 gigs. Make sure it's SCXI00. Sorry, SCSI00. Uh, and then we'll go to finish. And there's our new VM right there. Yeah, once you've created the virtual machine, uh, go to edit settings. No, 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 you don't. Once you've created the virtual machine, uh, we go to summary. And then we go to the data store. Browse the data store. Uh, we'll go to our new folder. We can upload it anywhere. It, it doesn't matter, but we'll put it in here. And now we're obviously uh, the file you downloaded. Um, I've already extracted. Once you've extracted it, go to upload file. Select one of the files that you've extracted. In this case, I uploaded the non-flat file. You need to upload both, but only one will show up as being uploaded. As you can see there, I've uploaded both, but there's only one there. All right, then we we'll just close that. Right click our virtual machine, go to edit settings, we'll go to, okay yeah, we'll go to add, sorry that, add a bit of a stupid, alright hard drive, we'll go to use an existing virtual disk, we'll browse to the file we just uploaded, which is located here for me, press next, make sure it's id 00, leave that unchecked, and next, finish, ok, right, now what we need to do is we just open up the uh, console, uh, turn the system on obviously and once the VM's on and you've got a console window shown make sure to select the second option and press enter 
leave the next menu as the default option of the top one unless you want 4482 but I don't see why you would um, okay then in a f there we go, disk station login, now that we're at the disk station login we can go to uh, chrome one moment go to chrome, go to find dot synology dot com this way it just saves us having to download synology assistant because it's kind of pointless uh, so we just connect okay once we're connected we'll get to take into this screen uh, obviously the IP address, the model there serial number I will just press the arrow alright so once we're at this place we need to just press the choose file and then go to documents new folder 2 select our pat file obviously wherever you downloaded it to uh, you don't need to extract this one it's already just the raw pat file uh, we select the arrow put in a password I'm going to call this tutorial uh, what I would okay uh, untick the create Synology hybrid raid server name set to whatever all data on hard disk 1 and 3 will be removed during installation are you sure you want to proceed I understand that all data on these hard disks will be removed okay and then it shall format the uh, partitions give it about I don't know I'd say about five minutes then then it will be done there we go it's at completing installation it's just counting down um, the reboot time if we uh, check the ESXi console we'll see that it's currently rebooting it will get to this menu just leave it on default don't touch it anymore there's no need to unless you're upgrading or uh, debugging the second option is only needed for the install nothing else and it should come up with disk station login in a few seconds uh, a few, a bit more than a few seconds uh, you see there it says E100 failed, don't worry about that That's it doesn't matter, don't panic when you see the failed message post in it and 5 4 3 2 1 now Near enough. <laughs> there we go, disk station login. Now if we go back to this page, I know it's still counting down, but don't worry about that. Uh, we just go to the IP port 5000, we'll be at a login prompt. Now if I log in with admin and tutorial, then we get to the welcome screen. You are a few steps away from using your Synology DS3612XS. Uh, the quick connect stuff doesn't work unless you have a valid serial number, so we'll skip that. We'll disable that and press go. Alright, so here's Synology DSM 4493, uh, 5.0, uh, build 4493. But there is a new version available currently, uh, update 3. So to do that, we need to do a few things. Basically, go to control panel, go to terminal and SMMP, enable the SSH service, press apply. Once you've done that, go to update and restore. Wait for it to check. Download the update. Obviously, throughout this guide, I'm assuming your system that you're installing DSM to is connected to your network, the same as your other computer, and also is has also is connected to a network which has internet. So yeah, that's downloading. While that's downloading, we need to load up a party connection. Uh, we'll go to 49 with port 22 uh, if you're on Linux you can just use SSH from a terminal unless you removed it um, and then log in as root not admin root and then the password you created during the install which was tutorial and now once we're here we need to enter a few commands we need to type in I'm gonna type it just so it gives some time said s flash update deb flash update deb1 colon slash auto update with an at symbol instead of an a dot info 
auto update dot info one. There we go. And then the second command is mv auto update dot info one to auto update dot info. And once we're there, we can go back to the UI and press the update now button. Uh, please note the system can be powered off when installing this update. Uh, sorry, cannot be powered off when installing this update. Do you want to continue? Yes. And then it will start the update process. And then if we check the ESXi again, we should see it's rebooting as it is. Disk station login. Now, if we refresh this page here, still counting down. Again, don't worry about that. Uh, there we go. And then we're back in here. And if we go to here and go to control panel, go to update and restore, we can see that we're running update 3 and your DSM version is up to date. Uh, if it's a minor version, like update 3, update 4, etc., you can do it how I just did it. If it's a major version, you will most likely have to wait for a new version of Nano Boot or Geno Boot or whoever's making the bootloader at the time. Um, that's not always true though. Sometimes you can just modify the grub entry in the bootloaders to tell it to work with a different pat file instead. But it depends on the thing. I mean, 4493 and I think 4482, I, I'm not sure, uh, were both kind of blocked by Synology a bit. So yeah, that's basically it. Like, there's update three on ESXi. Again, um, this guide only covered the ESXi version of it, but to do the same, it's basically just put the image on the USB pen, then follow most of the same instructions, skipping the virtual machine creation. Uh, if you need to install ESXi because you don't already have ESXi installed, I do have a video for installing ESXi and Synology DSM 5.0 which you can follow the beginning bit of that for the ESXi install and then skip back to this video to do the rest. Um, yeah, any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, uh, like, share this video and do all the YouTube stuff and of course visit cyanlabs.net for more tutorials and more stuff by us. Thanks for watching and I shall see you when I see you.